Hi everyone, it is Saturday night. I'm trying to get this vlog done so that I can have it uploaded for tomorrow to have something to close the week. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I hope that you guys grab a coffee, a tea, water, a glass of wine, your favorite beverage, and join in and we will be right back. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my vlog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. But you know what? I have no idea what's going on. I think it's just because it's so dry. I am turning into a water drinking maniac. I just poured myself a glass of Propel. This is the watermelon one, one of my favorites. And I put on that little wrap that I got from Amazon to make it a Valentine's special water. So I've got my Propel water. I've got it in my glass. And I have just been so, so thirsty. But you know, there's nothing wrong with drinking water. So cheers, everyone. I hope that you join me. Grab a glass of water or a cup of coffee, cup of tea, hot chocolate, wine, your favorite beverage. Cheers, everyone. Here's to a great week. I have no idea why this finger sticks up in the air. It drives, drives me crazy sometimes. But anyway, I hope everyone had a fabulous week. Weekends here. It's just a time to relax, unwind. At least for me, that's what that is. I know other people that have families and it's times for going out and doing things whether you need to go shopping for clothes or grocery shopping or the kids have activities and sports and going out with friends so it's, it's kind of relaxing can be stressful but it's it's life it's fun it beats the alternative right but anyway so i won a giveaway this week from kim's a little a lot so i'm gonna link kim below she is really such a nice lady she does unboxings and she does she's I don't know if she's new to Mask Mondays, but she could be new to Mask Mondays and unboxings, collabs. And anyway, one of her Mask Mondays that she did with Kim from Kim's Happy Place, she had a giveaway on her Mask Monday, and I happened to win it, so I'm so excited. So I got that in. So she did send it in one of these protective bags. We got this nice card here. So let's check out the card that she sent. Again, I'm going to have Kim link below. I hope you check her out. Show her some love. And thank you so much. And inside, hi Nancy. Congratulations on winning the Mask Monday collab held by Kim's Happy Place. Enjoy your mask. I've included a couple packages of do-it-yourself mask. You, use your, you add your own serum. Thanks for your support, Kim. Kim's a little, a lot. So really, really sweet. Alrighty, so we already took these out of here. They were wrapped in bubble wrap and in a cellophane wrapper. So I took them out just to kind of save some time, save the noise from getting picked up on my microphone. So it came with these two tablets. So these must be the add your own serum to make your own face mask. So that is really really a cool idea especially if you have a favorite serum that you love to use and you don't want to maybe use other things on your face because that serum is doing so good it's a good idea to check those out and we've got i believe five masks here from face story that she sent and i do love the face story masks they have such such a great variety most of their masks have so much serum that after you use your sheet mask you can put that serum on after you take the mask off you can put it on a couple hours later even the next day love having all that extra serum so this one is dream garden lotus it says balancing and firming i need balance and i need firming we have oats my bananas soothe and protect oh it says fragrance free you would think maybe it would smell like bananas and let's talk detox pore refining mask with charcoal and volcanic ash and this one is i pinky promise rejuvenating sheet mask and then this one and i always say this wrong everyday akai or a c 
So it's a rejuvenating mask as well. No harsh chemicals. And that is just, these are just so awesome on your face, especially, like I said, it is so dry that even though I think my cold is gone, I know, isn't that amazing? But it's so dry that I sound hoarse. So I'm drinking lots and lots of water. Cheers, everyone. Alrighty, so after doing the Vlogmas series and uh, the countdown to New Year's, and I had done a video every day in December. And January, I just kind of needed to take a week off from doing videos. And just that night, I was just able to, to do my work and then sit down and relax and just do some commenting and watching videos and commenting on those. And that was just so a great way to de-stress, not having to worry about working 10, 12 hour days and then trying to do videos in between and commenting and watching other pe people's videos. So it was just a great way to take some pressure off. So, um, so going forward, I think I'm going to try to do more videotaping on the weekends and so that my weekdays, you know, something is always going to come up that you, oh, I want to do this now, you know, I can't wait. We're going to try to do that a lot more going forward just to try to take some of the stress and pressure off during the week because I think that was a really good thing for me to do. Uh, today, it, we were above zero. I know, we were like 24 above zero today. And my neighbor was over with his kids, the four kids in the backyard, and Mr. Griffin came over and they were actually able to use that, that luge that he made in the snow. So taking these corners in the snow and blah, 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 and going down the hill and they were just having a blast. So they were out there most of the day playing because it's just been too cold for them to go out there and do anything. It's been so cold here. So it was really nice to have kids playing in the backyard and just backyards are meant for fun, I think, aren't they? So, you know, people in my neighborhood, I have no idea why, but most of them, I'd say 90% of them that have kids, they buy these big fancy swing sets and things that they put in the backyard, but then the kids don't play in the backyard. Isn't that weird? They're always out in the front. And it's like, do these people want people to think they're good parents because they're sitting on the block, they're sitting in the front of the house on the steps with their phone or their iPad or the laptop doing what they're doing and the kids are just playing in the front yard? When and the toys are in the back, I, I don't get it. But these neighbors on either side of me have never been like that with their kids. They're very hands-on people with their kids. And I just love that, you know, kids are, are meant to have fun and play, right? So that was really fun. Tomorrow we're going to be up in the 30s again, I think. Close to 30. And Monday, I think we're going to be like mid-30s, but chance of rain and snow mix. But you know what? I'm not going out Monday. I don't care. I know. That's a little selfish of me, but we're warming up. So I hope the rest of the country gets to follow suit and warm up too. And so part of my kind of refreshing and maybe taking a step back a little bit and getting back into trying to de-stress myself and take some pressure off, I picked up a book. I started reading it in the beginning, I think, of October. And then October hit and I was wanting to do dress up in costumes for my videos and just whatever. I just just doing different things like that. So I put the book aside, didn't touch it again, picked it up in January. Oh my gosh, I love the book. It was Small Angels. It's a gothic fiction by Lauren Owen. And it's about, well, it's a gothic fiction, so it's kind of mystery, kind of fantasy, and things like that, and about woods that come alive, that hurt people, and um, and how they kind of reconcile with that and make a deal with the woods and have everything end up kind of hunk and dory at the end. But there are some strange passages in this book. So anyway, I did enjoy this book. I'm so glad that I picked it up. I know... Gothic fiction isn't for everyone, but I did enjoy this book. So then I started reading The Paris Apartment, and this is by Lucy Foley, and um, I read the guest list from her, and I really enjoyed that book. So this is a nice book. I look at where I am. I have got like maybe 15 pages to go, and I'm done. I was 5 o'clock this morning. I was still up reading this and it was like my I'd read a couple of sentences and uh, fall asleep so it's like 
I want to be awake to read the, re the rest of it. So I've got like a chapter probably to go. I'm so excited. This has been a really good book. I've really enjoyed it. Every chapter is a different person's perspective about what's going on and how the storyline continues, but it, it keeps it, it's like a fast paced book. So just going back and forth, you would think it would get confusing, but it doesn't. And it's just a fast moving book. It's, there's a murder in here. There's a mystery in here. There's conspiracy with uh, police and um, just a group of weird, people. I'm trying, I know there's a word that I'm thinking of and it's probably on this, but the, the neighbors in this apartment, they, it's like, they're all hiding a secret. They're all weird. They're, they're hiding something and they're just, it's, it's different. So it's like every one of them is a suspect. And then of course there's a little bit of romance in here, kind of like, kind of keep it interesting, but it's a really good book. I got like 15 pages to go. I am going to finish this tonight. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get to my next book. And it's really been fun. Um, I've kind of kept that promise to myself. And so every night between 1130 and 12 o'clock, I shut YouTube off, shut down my laptop and say, I'm going to sit and read for at least an hour a night. And so that's like I said, this has been a fast paced book to just doing an hour a night. It's really been, really been good. So I'm glad to be getting back into that. Also, after I finish working and, um, of course I've watched like Wednesday from Netflix and then I did the 90s show. Oh my gosh, that was, that was funny. I didn't quite know what to expect with the 90s show. I mean, uh, I, you know, it's a spin off of the 70s show. And of course, growing up in the 70s and just watching the 70s show all those years when it was on and still watching reruns here and there, just really a fun show. So I just had to, you know, maybe I said, well, you know, it's probably not going to be any good. I'll watch one or two episodes, bam, like that. So yeah, I binge watched that the whole one night. It was, it was great. I loved it. It was really fun seeing Kitty and Red Foreman and Donna, Donna was there with Eric and Jackie and Kelso and Fez was there and just a new group of kids and just it was just really a fun fun series to watch just kick back kick back relax so I'm pretty sure it's going to come back again next year I just hate when you do it and you binge watch it and then you have to wait a whole year for the next series to come on the next season to come on but that was really really good I've been working in my planner um January's finished. I'm just starting February. I'm also trying to think in my head. I want to do a wellness planner. I know it's hard enough keeping up with one, but I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with, do with that. But I know I need to kind of take some steps to get back into some healthy habits. So I'm probably going to try to figure something out and maybe do something like that. I don't know if anybody still does wellness Wednesdays, but I think I might do a wellness Wednesday and just uh, do that planner and how get some ideas on how to keep it going. I know that instead of a wine Wednesday, whoa, slow down. I don't know what's happening with that, but you, you know what? We've got Mardi Gras on a Tuesday. You know, I'm going to have to do something. Valentine's on a Tuesday and I'm going to have to do something. So maybe not have a drink and two nights of drinking in a row. Who knows? But anyway, so I'm thinking of doing something like that. So that should be coming up. Um, again, and I'm just going to kind of close this out, showing you a few pages of my planner and um, for the month of January. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll show you that and then we will be right back. And reflecting on January. So, of course, we have January 1st, New Year's, start of a brand new year, all kinds of goals and whatever we want to do. It's always a fresh start. January 3rd would be our 47th year wedding anniversary. So, love celebrating that and just taking a day off to remember. We had 10 inches of snow, so had a little bit of shoveling to do. I kind of interfered with my memories, but 10 inches of snow. 10 inches of snow. Um, I actually recorded some videos that uh, didn't save in the right format, had to do them over again during the week. Uh, we had uh, five inches more snow on the 4th and I watched the Wednesday series on Netflix and I restarted 
Walking Dead again. Um, week two was my mom's birthday week. She would be 95 years old. Um, she's been gone for 14 years. I've got a picture there up at the top, and of course this isn't probably going to coincide with what you're seeing, but it's from like 1930, 1931 of her and her sister, my Aunt Gertrude and her mom. Um, we've got the Cabbage Patch dolls. The first time my mom had got Cabbage Patch dolls for the girls. And then another picture of her from like 1935. Uh, we've got um, Rick and my mom going for a ride out on the four-wheeler up in the woods. He's got a kind of devilish grin on my uh, on his eyes. Be careful, Mom. You never know what he's going to be up to. We also ended up watching the 90s show again. It was just so much fun uh, watching that and seeing some of the cameos from the 70s show. Red and Kitty were there, and it was just a really uh, fun series to watch again. Um, I actually covered for tooling that week, so I had three days of some long hours and some extra work. Oh, the last week of January. Oh my gosh, my VPN was not working right. They had trouble with the servers at work. So every 15 to 20 minutes for a whole week, I lost the VPN and would have to start all over again. Files weren't saved. Um, just had to reconnect. So it was a really stressful week. The My keyboard, the space bar stopped working. And yeah, so I had long run on sentences and then trying to try to figure out what I was trying to say before I fixed it and sent emails. It was a stressful week. So by the time Friday came around, I was really excited. The Jelly Beans got their report card for the semester. They both have different subjects. They go to different classes entirely. They both ended up getting five A's and one B. And as their mom, Sabrina says, hey, it's just like the twins. Um, so then I had another picture in there. It was like maybe three or four years ago when I was still working um, at the office. I came home. My neighbor had uh, already plowed up my driveway and the walkway. And then when you come in the house and you look out the front door and it's like, oh, my gosh, i got to go out and shovel the wall at the front door or the mailman is never going to leave my packages. Oh, well, it was a fun week. I want to thank you guys for stopping in and spending time with me. I'm looking forward to trying to figure out how to do a wellness uh, journal. So any of your comments would be appreciated. And we will see you guys in our next video. Love you guys so much. Take care, everyone. Alrighty, so thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching this to the end. I appreciate you guys so much. I want to thank Kim's a little a lot again. Remember, she'll be linked below. I hope you go and check her out, show her some love, and just thank you so much. I really enjoy working on my planner and just um, putting in some pictures and what's going on in my life and maybe a little bit more um, journaling in there. It's going to be going in this year. So I'm really looking forward to the changes. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And I love you guys so much. And we will see you in our next video.